hunting is still happening. Hunting for sport is still happening. There's always aggression towards us from the hunts. They don't like us turning up and spoiling their fun. Oh my God! Oh my God! If you speak to groups all in, down across the country, SABs and monitors, they'll tell you that nothing has changed, that it's still happening exactly as it ever was. The Hunting Act is so full of loopholes, it means that fox hunts can just carry on hunting like they did before the Act came in. As long as there are people out hunting and killing wildlife, there'll be hunt saboteurs out there trying to save that wildlife. The reason we've agreed to do these interviews is to dispel some of the myths about hunt saboteurs. Uh, we're labelled as domestic extremists and by the police and governments. And the only way to obviously say, actually, come find out for yourself if it's true and actually find out what we do and why we do it is for obviously for those of us to to speak to speak up um, and it's not about uh, you know we think we do anything differently or any better or that we're any better than anybody else or anything like that we're just people everyday people just doing what we can. So we're off to the Warwickshire hunt today. Uh, the Warwickshire hunt four days a week. They are a very arrogant hunt. They have a sense of entitlement that they can do what they want when they want. Yeah. They have people in very bright high vis pink jackets following us around everywhere and that's uh, so the huntsmen can see where we are from a distance. They're also in constant communication with the huntsmen, uh, telling him where we are at all times uh, and you'd, you'd have to ask why the huntsman needs to know where we are and what we're doing if he's not doing anything wrong. They're constantly trying to provoke us. Our reason for being there is to save the fox, so we tend to just ignore them as it just distracts from what we're there for. There's three of us out that day. There was uh, me and Leanne who were out in the field on foot. We were about halfway across the field when I spotted a fox running towards us away from the hunt. In that situation, uh, the best thing to do is just to stand completely still because you don't want to turn the fox back towards the hunts. The fox will know where it wants to run to. So in that situation, the, the hounds were quite close to the fox. They were about a minute or so behind. The only option available to us in that situation was to try and stop the hounds and turn them back towards where the huntsman was.
Yes! Back to him! Back to him! So the huntsman communicates with the hounds through voice commands and by blowing his horn. And when the hunt went to stop the hounds, they, they crack a whip and the sound of the whip cracking stops the hounds. We use the hunt's own methods against them. So we, we've got our own whips and our own horns. I guess even if that's the only thing that we do on that particular day, it's still I'd still regard it as a successful day because we've helped we've helped at least one fox escape. A hunt is made up of a lot of different people uh, whose sole purpose is purely to hunt and kill foxes and wildlife. The job of Hunt saboteurs is to even the odds up a little bit to give that fox uh, a bit more of a chance, a few extra seconds to escape.